Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. In this lab, we will be discussing about deploying vCenter Server Appliance 6.5 with external PSC. As you know, in external PSC deployment, vCenter Server and its management components like web client, inventory services, auto deploy, syslog ser collector services gets deployed on one system, whereas the services managed by Platform services controller such as single sign on, licensing, certificate authority, VMware directory services gets deployed on another system. VCSA deployment with external PSC is always recommended for organizations which are growing or having a geographical dispersed sites and want, and want more resilient environment. Now, because because of external PSC, where PSC or platform services controller is external to the vCenter server, this configuration also allows us to link multiple vCenter servers to a single PSC, also known as linked mode configuration. Now, in this particular lab, we will be discussing about deployment procedure of vCenter server appliance with external PSC. Now, I have divided, divided this lab into two parts. In part one of this lab, we will walk through step by step deployment procedure of external PSC and setting up the PSC appliance. In part two of this lab, we will walk through step by step deployment procedure of vCenter Server Appliance 6.5 and registering vCSA with SSO domain managed by external PSC. So, let's get started. Click on ISO images. So this is our VCSA 6.5.0 image. Right click on it, mount it, browse through UI installer, Windows 32 folder, and here is our installer. Click on installer. And now as you could see, this is our vCenter server appliance 6.5 installer. And for installing a new vCenter server appliance or platform services controller appliance, click on install. So click on install and now as you could see the installation of both whether vCenter server appliance or platform services controller appliance it's a two stage process and in stage one the appliance gets deployed and and appliance gets deployed and all its network configuration storage configurations being done and the stage two of this Deployment procedure where the appliance being set up and all of the required services get started on VCSA or platform services controller appliance. So click on next to proceed with stage one. Click on next. Now accept the terms of the license agreement. Click on next. Now this is very important section where we have to define the deployment type of our vCenter server appliance. Since we are going to deploy vCenter server appliance with external PSC, so we have to choose deployment type as external platform services controller. And the first component which gets installed is platform services controller. So click on platform services controller, click on next. Now here we need to provide deployment target details where your appliance would be deployed so i'll give my esxi host ip where this appliance would be deployed so esxi host ip is infra-esxi2.govmlab.local username root and password of our esxi host click on next to proceed Click on yes to accept the certificate. Now here we need to provide the appliance VM name. So I'll give a name PSC-01A password of appliance VM. Click on next. Uh, we have only one data store, so it has selected data store 2 for this platform services controller. Click on enable thin disk mode for utilizing our storage space more efficiently. And now let's configure network settings for our platform services controller. 
select network private management network this is the network which i have configured for my platform services controller appliance ip version is ipv4 ip assignment is static now always make sure you choose ip assignment as static for all of the management components whether it's being platform services controller or vcent server appliance that's a always the best practice now give a system name is psc-018.govmlab.local IP address of PSC 20.20.20.7 Submit mask 255.255.255.0 Default gateway 20.20.20.1 DNS server 20.20.20.1 Now default port for HTTP is 80 and 4434 HTTPS Now click on next to proceed now in this wizard, we can review all of our deployment settings. So as you could see the deployment details, it shows the target, the appliance would be deployed on infra-esxi2.govmlab.local. VM name would be the PSC-01A and the deployment type is a platform services controller. Now data store details, data store where the file, all of your PSC deployment files would be stored on data store 2. And this is our network details where it shows the network connect the port group we have chosen is for private management network. The IP is 20.20.20.7. VM name is psc-018.govmlab.local. Gateway is 20.20.20.1. Now, once you review these settings, now click on next to proceed. Sorry, seems like some network connectivity issue. Now, once you have reviewed all, all of these settings, click on finish. And now as you could see, the deployment has initialized or the deployment of platform services controller has started. Now, as you could see, the installer has started deploying the appliance on our target ESXi host. Oh, no. Now let's log into our ES target ESXi host and let's see what's going on there. So this is our ESXi host, infra-esxi2.govmlab.local. And now if you could see, the VM has created ESC-01A. And if you look at the recent task pane of the ESXi host, the VM deployment is still in progress. And the, the VM deployment is still on, still going on. So let's go to installer and wait for deployment to be finished. Now, as you could see, at this stage of installation, installer has completed with the completed appliance deployment and now it has proceed to setting up storage for our appliance VM. Let's wait for a few minutes to get this deployment completed. Now, after setting up storage stage, now installer has moved to the stage of RPM installer installation where it will be installing required RPM in our platform services controller appliance. So as you could see at this point of time, it is installing Apple Mon Cloud VM RPM. And now it is configuring network. Now stage one of deployment platform services controller is completed successfully. And as you could, like, as I mentioned earlier, it is a two stage process. So the UI shows very clearly to proceed with stage two of the deployment process, click continue. So click on continue to proceed with this stage two of our platform services controller deployment process. So click on continue. Now, as you could see, this right mark right so it shows the deployment part is completed successfully now let's go and set up our platform services controller so click on next to proceed time synchronization mode select time synchronization mode is synchronizing time with ntp server provide ntp server ip 20.20.20.1 
if you want to enable access, access for your PSC appliance, select enabled, click on next. Now, this is the important, important section where we have to create a SSO domain and which would be managed or uh, uh, SSO is one of the service which is being managed by our platform services controller appliance. So you can create any of the domain name. It could be xyz.com, abc.com, but in our, I'll create domain as a default domain vSphere.local. So this vSphere.local would be our single sign-on domain and the default user administrator gets created by default. Now provide a SSO password. So I'll give an SSO password for user administrator. Site name, you can give any site name. Let's say I'll give site one, or you can give any site name. Now click on next to proceed. Uncheck customer improvement program click on next and now here we could review all of our deployment or setup details so as you could see the network details are we have provided a host name is psc-018.govmlab.local ip address is 20.20.20.7 submit mask is 255.255.255.0 and gateway and dns is 20.20.20.1 now appliance details section it shows we have Choose time synchronization mode with NTP server. The NTP server IP is 20.20.20.1. .20 and we have also enabled SSH access for our appliance. Now, one of the important section is SSO details, as you could see. Now we have created SSO domain name as vSphere.local and the username is administrator. So after reviewing these settings, click on finish to proceed with the installation. Click on OK. And now as you could see. Now set up, hey, appliance, setting up appliance has started and required services on this appliance would be starting as part of stage two of our deployment process. Like as you could see, it has started, it is, it is installer is starting VMware authentication framework services. Similarly, it would be starting all of the required services in our platform services controller appliance. Now, as you could see, our platform services controller appliance setup has been completed successfully. Now click on this link to get started or to get access to our platform services controller page. So it, it, you could see we are logging to our platform services controller, psi-018.govmlab.local. And this is our platform services controller web interface. Now we can use this interface to manage the platform services controller services now click on this web interface provide your credentials sso username is administrator at the rate of vsphere.local password sso password click on login and now we are successfully logged in to our platform services controller web interface. Now, with this interface, with this platform services controller web interface, we can perform many tasks, including managing identity sources for your vCenter server, single sign on. You can manage your certificates. You can configure two factor authentication, including common access card. You could manage your users and groups. Now, I will have a dedicated lab where we will be discussing about each of these options more in detail as a scope of this particular lab. This particular lab will just will walk to this step step two of our VCSA deployment. So let's log out from this. So in part one, of this lab like as i as, as as we discussed earlier in this particular part one of this lab we have uh, 
discuss about the step by step deployment procedure of our external PSC and we also discuss about creating SSO domain and setting up our PSC appliance. I hope you guys like this video. Thanks for watching it.